Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, does anybody have a hallelujah in their spirit this morning? Hallelujah, Lord, we give you the highest praise. Hallelujah, God. Father, we exalt you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, God, we exalt you above everything, God, above our problems, our circumstances, God, our wants, God. We exalt you, God, above it all, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We 
Hallelujah. Come on, church. I just just take a moment to think about all of the things that the Lord has done for you. Come on, some some of us can think about something that He's done for us this morning. Come on, he woke us up this morning. He started us on our way. He gave us strength in our, in our bodies. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. But our God, who is gracious and who is merciful, allowed us another day of life. Another day to praise him. Another day to worship him. Another day to give him glory. Hallelujah. So we exalt you this morning, God. We exalt thee. We exalt thee. Give him praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, praise God. But he began to move, praise God, through our praise yeah. and our worship. Yeah. He moved through these things, praise God. When you lift them up, praise God. Amen, praise God. We welcome, yeah. praise God. Come on, somebody say, Lord, we welcome you in. Oh, well, we yeah. welcome you in, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Oh, just have your way with us yeah. today, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory be to God. Amen. Yeah. Truly. Hallelujah. Praise God. We, 
We welcome, praise God, our Facebook, praise God, all the ones that are listening on Facebook, praise God, or looking on Facebook, praise God. We welcome you. Yes. Come, praise yes. God. Yes. Give God the glory today, praise yes. God. We welcome yes. you. I don't yes. care where you at. Hallelujah. My holy. Hallelujah. Come seeking God. Come looking for yes. God to move for your, your behalf today. Look for God, praise God, to move you to another place in him today, yes. praise God. Hallelujah. We welcome you in, praise God. Amen, Amen. praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Yes. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Yes. Oh, Father God, Lord, we just give you the glory. Lord God, we thank you for every soul, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you, God, for our Facebook, Lord God. We thank you for every soul that's in this place, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we come, Lord God, seeking you, Lord God, looking for another place in you, Lord God. Yes. Hallelujah. We looking, praise God, amen, praise God, amen, praise God, to go to another higher height and a deeper depth in you today, Lord. Yes. Oh, Lord, we just appreciate you, Lord God, yes. for being our God, Lord. Yes. Lord God, I hallelujah right now. Right now, Father God, move us out the way, Lord God, and so your spirit can have it way inside of us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord, we ask you to fill every need on Facebook, fill every need in this place, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Whatever they're crying out for. Oh, hallelujah. Whatever they're crying out for right now, Lord. Lord, we ask you to make that need or whatever that desire is, make that desire. Whatever it is, Lord God, we ask, Lord God, whether it be healing, oh, hallelujah, whether it be deliverance, Lord God, whether it be a saving of a soul, Lord God, bring them out of darkness into your marvelous light, Lord God. We ask for movement. Hallelujah. Hey, glory, hallelujah. We ask for movement. Hallelujah, right now, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, take us right now, Lord God, to that place in you, Lord God. Lord, that we may experience you today, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, let your spirit move through the midst of us, Lord God. Yes. Fill these knees right now, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh, glory, hallelujah, Lord God. All that shall call upon your name. Yes. All that shall call upon your name today, Lord. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Every knee yes. shall bow. Every circumstance shall bow down today in the name of Jesus. Yes. Every pain, hallelujah, shall bow down today. Hallelujah, Lord God. No matter what we're going through, Lord yes. God, hallelujah, make it bow down. In hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for hearing our prayer. Thank Lord, we thank you for all the ones that are here this day, Lord God. Lord, we ask that you continue to bless, Lord God, every word that come forth, every song that come forth, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Let it come forth in your anointing. Let it come forth in your power. Let it come forth in the demonstration of the Holy Ghost. Lord, we want to see miracles. My Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we want to see signs and wonders. My Lord, we know that you are able to do it, Lord God. You're still on the throne. Yes. You're still able to do it, Lord God. Yes. Move this day, Lord God. Yes. Oh, hallelujah, Father God. We hear your word say, speak yes. to the mountain. Yes. Oh, hallelujah, Lord. We speak in the day, Lord God. We speak in, Lord. Hallelujah. We just thank you, Lord. We just give you the glory, Lord God. Hallelujah. Somebody say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Every, every demon. Bow down right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I just thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. We're about to move. Praise God. I just thank yes. God. Amen. Amen. I'm just I'm, I'm just still a little check up. I know where we're going, brother. I, I just thank God for just the prayer. Praise God. Amen. Because God began to say, the one thing you might need. Come on, now y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. One thing you might need, praise God. Just ask God to do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Thank God, praise God. That's a continuation of the things, praise God. Amen, praise God, that you ask God to do, praise God. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. It's share. Somebody say, yeah. share. Yeah. Come to pass. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Come, to pass. come on, if you believe it, then put your hands together and give God praise. Glory hallelujah. Praise Him at this time. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. All glory and honor to our God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, does anybody have a hallelujah? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, our God is so good. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm chasing after you, no matter what I have to do. Cause I need you, you more and more. I'm chasing after you, no matter what I have to do. I need you more and more. Come on, sing it if you know it. I'm chasing, I'm chasing after you, no matter what. Oh, I want to be wrapped in your arms. 
if you don't remember anything else, remember that he's able. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's able. He's able. He's able. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
my God. Will your heart say, how great is our God? He's a great God. He's a mighty God. He's the holy God. There's nobody like you. There's nobody like you. There's nobody like you, Jesus. Nobody like you, Jesus. Nobody like you, Jesus. You're a great God. You're a mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a great God, church. He's a great God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're the name above all names. You are worthy of all praise. Come on, church, have a second. And my heart will sing how great is our God. Come on, let's just sing that a few more times. Oh, you're the name. Trust God 
Amen. Praise God. Say, Lord, you said in your word, praise God, if I do this, praise God, you're going to do that. Praise God. Amen. And God would do everything in his word that he said he would do. Praise God. Yes. Amen. Don't you want to open up the windows? Yes. Somebody say, Lord, open up a window. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. And pour it out, Lord. Pour. Pour it out, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. There won't be room to receive it. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We want to see the blessings. We want to see the blessings overtake us, praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Amen, praise God. Amen, praise God. Amen, praise God. We're not, we, we not worried about the negative things, praise God, but we want to see the blessings. Amen. And because we are in the will of God. Amen. We're doing the will of God. Amen. Everything that God said do, we're doing it, praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And God is going to pour out a blessing, praise God. Amen. Amen, praise God. There won't be room to receive it, praise Amen. God. Amen, praise God. One scripture said, press down. Come on now, don't you want something pressed down yeah. and run it over? Yeah. Hey! Hey, the reason God press it down, praise God, amen, praise God. Amen, amen. hallelujah! Amen! So Glory! Yes. Glory! So Glory. So that you will be able yes. to bless! Yeah. Hallelujah! You'll be able to bless not only yourself. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. But you'll be able to bless somebody else. Praise yeah, God. Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Don't you see God's kingdom growing? Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. oh hallelujah. hallelujah. His kingdom is growing. Yes, Lord. My mind. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Thank hallelujah. You, I want them to control. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But I get excited, praise God, when it's time to do things for God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I can do something for God when I give him my tithes and offerings. Yeah. Come on now, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah praise God. Yes, Hallelujah. And praise God. This is my time, praise God, to be active in the things of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. What thing do you want God to do for you? Yes. My, 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 my Lord. Hallelujah. All you got to do is tell him. Praise God. Say, Lord, I've been obedient. Hallelujah. I've been your servant. Yes. I've been doing everything that you asked me to do, praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. God say what? Prove me. Hallelujah. Prove me and want to do the things, Lord, you've been asking me to do. Mm -hmm. Just prove him. Just have confidence, Lord. Whatever you put in, just have confidence mm -hmm. that he's about to do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. I, I hear him saying there's nothing too hard for God to do. Nothing. There's nothing. Hallelujah. Praise God. Whatever, praise God, that's bothering you. Yeah. Hallelujah. God's about to take care of it. Right, oh, glory, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. So praise God. I mean, praise God. You give what God has put in your heart to give. Praise mm -hmm. God. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's watching over it. Yeah. He's watching over it. Praise God. And he's about to praise God. Do some miracles and wonders and hallelujah things. Praise God. I mean, praise God. You've been asking him to do. Mm -hmm. Glory. Hallelujah. Whatever things you've been asking God to do, praise God, he's going to do it. Mm -hmm. Amen, praise God. Praise God. But I heard him say, praise God, have faith in God. Mm -hmm. Say, have faith in God. Yes. Hallelujah. Have faith in God that he's about to do something to you. Amen. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So praise God. When it, hallelujah, when the offering come in, praise God, just say, oh, glory. Just thank God as you put it yes. in. Just thank him for whatever you need. Hallelujah. Come on now, somebody. Thank him for whatever you need. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, oh, glory. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. I'm going to get all caught up here. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. We, <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We have a wage that you can text to give. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. The number is 1-844-468-3549. Praise God. Amen. I look, praise God, because I don't want to get no numbers wrong. Praise God. Amen. When you're texting the guild, praise God. Amen. Praise God. It's a, uh, you can get it with your debit card or credit card. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Be a blessing to God and God's going to bless you. Praise God. Also, praise God, we have a cash out. Praise God. It's dollar sign IC ministry. Praise God. Temple. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. All you got to do is push a couple buttons. Amen. It's, it's instantly. <laughs> Amen. Amen. God make, make it possible. Praise God. 
Whether you Facebook, praise God, or even wherever you at, praise God, and praise God, God will make it possible, praise God, that you be able to give to him. Whatever he had put in your heart to give. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Truly praise God. Amen. Amen. And it's, uh, it's on the screen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Your blessing. Your blessing. glorify you, Lord. We just thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father, for touching everyone in these hearts, Lord God, that's in the assembly, Lord God, and on Facebook, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord, we ask you to bless them right now, Father God. Lord, they thank you, Lord God, for the things that you are doing in their lives right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord, we ask you to open up the windows of heaven, Lord God, and pour them out of blessing, Lord God, that they may be a glory to you, that they may be a blessing to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh, Lord, we thank you right now, Father God. Oh, Lord God, that you are able to them. Lord God, Lord God, we ask you to continue to bless those who was not able to give and those who were able, Lord God. Lord, that they may be able, Lord God, to pour into your kingdom, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Oh, Father God, we give you the glory. We give you the praise. We give you the honor, Lord God, for your tithes and your hallelujah, Lord God, for your offering, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for touching each one of these hearts, Lord God. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, do it, Lord God. Do whatever they ask you to do, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, do it, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Tell him thank you for whatever you wanted. Oh, I hear him say, I'm going to give you the desires of your heart. That's what the world said. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. It's under to his will. Amen. Praise God, God. Somebody needs to say, Lord, I'm going to stay in your will. Hallelujah. I'm going to stay in your will and get what I need. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory, hallelujah. We just give God the glory and the praise, Lord God. We'll have our heart. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our announcement, praise God. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Good morning, everyone. And we thank God for each of you joining us for our morning worship experience. We truly pray that you have been blessed thus far. Please listen carefully for all of our IC updates and announcements. We thank God for each of you that came out and joined us for our community outreach yesterday at the Silver Oaks community. We had a great time in the Lord meeting and connecting with the residents of that uh, community. So we thank God for each of you that came out to support us.
Please join us every morning, Monday through Thursday, for our daily morning devotion. Let's start our day seeking the mind of Christ. Let's make our plans align with his plans for our day. Proverbs 19 and 21 says, Many are the plans in a person's heart, but right. it is the Lord's purpose yes. that prevails. Beautiful. We welcome you to join us every Wednesday on Zoom at 7 p.m. for our midweek Bible study on Zoom or here in the sanctuary. Again, that is in person or on Zoom. Uh, this interactive Bible study encourages all to deepen their knowledge of God and your relationship with Jesus Christ. So please join us and be blessed. Would you like for your child, grandchild, niece or nephew to learn about God and the Bible on a level in which they can understand? If so, please have them to join us on Thursdays of each week for our Kids Zone Zoom meeting. These interactive youth Bible studies start at 7 p.m. Please feel free to share the link with family and friends. Yes, yeah. yes, Lord. Thank Ladies, you. you are invited to join us this Friday, September 22nd at 7 p.m. as the IC Women of Faith conducts their bi-monthly group meeting. This meeting will be held in person in Lakeland, Florida. The address is 1026 West 14th Street, Lakeland, Florida. Again, that's 1026 West 14th Street, Lakeland, Florida. Please see Lady Felicia if you have any questions. The Apostle Paul teaches us in 1 Timothy that we should pray for all people and ask God to help them. Intercede on their behalf and give thanks for them. So join us every Saturday at 9 a.m. on Zoom as we do just that. Interceding on, our, on behalf of our neighborhoods and the nations. Today after service, we will be celebrating with our first lady for her birthday. We will be meeting at the Black Rock Grill at 2 p.m. If you have not RSVP'd, please see Mother Williams immediately after service to see if there is any space available. Again, that is at the Black Rock Grill in Brandon, Florida. On September 24th, the church will be hosting our Pack the House and Praise Him Now service. Amen. This is an opportunity for us to invite all the people that we know, family and friends alike, to come out and praise God with us. This will be held during our morning worship service. And just a reminder to... Uh, there will be some special gifts given out to the child that invites the most guests. And there will be a special gift given out to the adult who invites the most guests. So please, let's pack God's house and worship him together. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. What a mighty God. Next Monday, September 25th, the IC Extraordinary Sisters will be meeting online via Zoom at 7 p.m. This is open to all young ladies between the ages of 9 to 18 years of age. Young ladies, don't forget to invite a friend. <laughs> On September 30th at 1 p.m., the Inter Inhabitants of Christ Ministries will be engaging with the Belmont Heights community. If you'd like to support this effort and come out to be a blessing, uh, please see First Lady or Pastor Robinson for more details. And lastly, for the remaining events coming up this month and a snapshot of next month, September 30th at 1 p.m., excuse me, October 6th, the IC Ministries will be hosting our shut-in prayer service here at the church. And this will be our second shut-in prayer. The first one, we had an amazing time in the Lord. So please come out and join us for our all-night shut-in prayer, October 6th. October 14th, we will be celebrating with Pastor Willie Brown for his pastoral appreciation. October 28th, the Inhabitants of Christ Ministries will be meeting at the Raymond James Stadium to participate in the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. Please see Sister Jalisa McKinnon if you'd like to order pink shirts for this event. And on November 10th, 
through the 12th, IC Ministries will be hosting our Family and Friends Weekend Celebration. Yes. This will be, amen. This will be a spirit-filled weekend for all family and friends to enjoy. Again, that will be November 10th, 11th, and 12th. Go ahead now and share this date with your friends and family so that they can save them and join us that weekend. If you'd like to receive all of our updates and announcements sent by our media group, please fill out one of our Connect cards or send an email with your contact information to support at icministries.org. These are announcements. Please be blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God. Praise God for our announcements. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Get ready, saints. We still moving. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. We're looking for God to do some wonderful things. Praise God. You say October the 6th, right? Praise God. Amen. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. What a mighty God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Don't miss it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. 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 The shut in. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. That is your time. Praise God. To get in touch with God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Come seeking the Holy Ghost. Come seeking some fire. Come on now, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise God. But now, praise God. Amen. Praise God. It's time. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Who, who came to hear from God today? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Who come to hear from God today? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise God. Like I say, praise God. It's time to praise God. Sit down and break the ears up. Get your spirit ready, praise God. Amen, praise God. But when God, praise God, come forth with the word, praise God, it's time to, I heard, I heard mother this morning say, be still. Praise God. We got to be still and hear what God has to say, praise God. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Praise God. After the song, praise God, we'll be hearing from our proud next voice you hear would be our pastor, David Robinson. Praise God. Amen. Amen.
I said it sound like it looked like somebody brought a yes with me. so much we was out witnessing yesterday and I asked a lady I said that I opposed I posed to her that very thing if God can give you one thing that that'll make you believe him if he can do one thing for your life what would that thing be she said he doesn't have to do anything I'll just come she said, he doesn't have to do anything else. I'll just come. Hallelujah. Yeah, so what's holding us back? Yeah. Nothing should hold us back from believing God. That's right. From trusting God. And beloved, I know and we encounter a lot of people that are going through economic difficulties. Yeah. Some struggle paying rent. Some struggle paying their light bill. Some struggle trying to find adequate housing, affordable housing. But I know we serve a God that said he'll supply all our needs. 
according to his riches and glory. Yeah. Said he's going to do it. Yeah. Keep trusting him. Yeah. I said keep trusting him. Yes. Father in Jesus, and we thank you yes. for life, health, and your strength. Yes, Lord. Lord, as we stand in your presence, we bring the request before you of all your people. And that's in this house, Lord. We thank you for meeting every need in this house. Thank you for the holy visitation. Thank you for blessing your word. Thank you for blessing our ears to hear what the Spirit has to say unto the church. Bless, Lord. Bring forth salvation. Lord, in, the, in Jesus' name, bring forth deliverance in this house, restoration yes. and increase, and yes. we'll give you praise in yes. Jesus' name. Come on, put your hands together and give God some praise. Yes. You may be seated in the presence of God. Yes, Lord. We honor him today. Amen. Yes, Lord. We thank God for him. We thank God. We thank God. Amen. Thank God for our our first lady, thank God for her. Come on, give God some praise. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for our elders and our ministers. Yes, Lord, our mothers. Thank God for each and every one of you, beloved. Thank God for our youth today. Yes. Thank God for everybody. Yes. Yes, Lord, we just had a great time on yesterday. Doing the work of the Lord. We we prayed for hours, walked for hours, and encouraged for hours, and it was just a blessing. Yes. It was a blessing. Yes, it was. You know, some people say, Why are you doing that in that heat? Ain't it too, isn't it too hot out there? Yes, sir, but I don't I Amen. I believe the Lord Amen. kept us. I really believe he kept us. Yes, Lord, he kept us, and we thank God. We thank God. Amen. Yes, Lord. So we're going to try to conserve our voice today. Yes, Lord. I, we're going to try to conserve our voice today in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We, we went through the gates yesterday. We, yes, Lord. How many believe the Lord opened those iron gates? Yes, I said, how many believe he opened the iron gates? Yes, Lord. Peter said he that it was to the iron, the iron gate that had to be opened to lead us into the city. And That's I believe right. God right. opened the gates that led us into the city. Yes. yes, Lord. And everything we need has been provided. Come on and give God some Lord. praise for him opening the iron gates. Yes, Lord. Yes, so he opened the first yes. gate he walked through. Yeah. The second gate. And then he said that then he came to that iron gate. Yeah. And I pray that we all keep that revelation. When you're facing something, open up that iron gate. Yeah. I said that's spiritual. There's, sometimes there's a spiritual force that we're facing, a spiritual gate. And we wonder, we will grant access. We'll have access to the first gate and we'll yeah. think we're doing good. The yeah. second gate, we'll think we're good, doing good. Yeah. But then there's something that really stops us from going to the place where we should be, yeah. that iron gate. Yeah. Peter said that in Acts 12, he came across that. Yeah. Yes, Lord. So continue to pray that, beloved. Continue to pray that. Come on, let's call your attention today to Psalms 139. Amen. Psalms 139. God is good. He's so good. Yes, sir. I love coming to worship. I said I love coming to worship. I love coming to worship. Yes, Lord. This is not work. This is not labor for me to come to worship. For some people, this is labor. This is work. Glory. But this Hallelujah. is not work for me Hallelujah. coming to worship. Anybody anybody feel the same way that I feel? Yeah. This is not work for me. This is not this is nothing. This is this is my reasonable service. This yeah. is something I enjoy to do. Yes. Hallelujah. Because I don't know about you, there was a time in my life where I needed rain. Yeah. And God sent me some rain in my life. 
Yes, Lord. I said there was a time in my life where I needed some rain. Yes, yes my life was still and dry. Yes. But God oh, sent the rain. Lord. Have you ever sent the rain in your life, beloved? Yes, Lord. When he watered your life, he, your life was dry. Your life was dry. Yes. Your thoughts was dry. Yes. Your ideas was dry. Yes. Your marriage was dry. Yes. Your children was dry. Yes. But it was one day he said in Zechariah, he said, ask for the rain and I'll send you the rain. Anybody ever ask God, Lord, send the rain in my house. Send the rain in my life. Send the rain in my mind. Send it in my marriage. See, anybody need God to send the rain? Somebody, if you need some rain right now in your life, somebody shout, Lord, send the rain. Send the rain, Lord. Send it. You might need it in your finances. You might need it in your mind. You might need it in your body. You might need it in your relationship. But somebody on your job, somebody say, Lord, send the rain. Yes, Lord. He said in Zechariah, if you ask, I'll send the rain and I water your plants. Anybody need God to water something for you in your life? Yes, Lord, send the rain, Lord. Shower down the rain. Yes, so my life is dry. My ideas is dry. My resources is dry. Yes, I need the rain. I said my prayer life is dry. Fasting is dry. My desire for the word is dry. Somebody shout, send the rain, Lord. Yes, Lord, send the rain, Lord. I said it makes a difference when the rain comes. Yesterday, Tampa is Tampa. Rain come out of nowhere. But I, I was thankful that I that God sent the rain. My grass needed to be watered. I said my grass was dry. Spots begin to be in the grass. And I don't know if you have spots in your life, spots in your marriage, spots in your children. All God does, all I said, all you need is some rain. I said, all you need is some rain. Somebody shouts in the rain, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, if you send the rain, I said increase to happen. Lord, if you send the rain, I said growth to happen. I said if you send the rain, maturity to happen. Lord, if you send the rain, deliverance to happen. Anybody in here need deliverance? Send the rain, Lord. Send the rain, Lord. Look at your neighbor and envision rain falling in their life. I say look at your neighbor prophetically and see and imagine the rain following in their life. I say when God send the rain, you can't stay the same. I say when God rain from heaven in your life, you can't stay the same. Somebody give God some praise for the rain. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I needed the rain. I said I needed the rain. Yes, Lord. My mind was heavy. My spirit was weak. I needed rain to rain in my life. Somebody shout rain, Lord. Rain, Lord. I said today, I need rain. I need rain in this time of my life. In this season of my life. I said I need the rain. I've been in drought way too long. I need this season to pass. I don't know about you. Aren't you tired of this season of your life? Aren't you sick and tired? Or are you content? Somebody shout Lord, send the rain, Lord. I need this season to pass. The difference is the rain. If you need that season to pass, I say God has the rain. I said if you want that season to pass, I say God has the rain. Are you ready for the rain? Anybody in here want God to rain on you? Anybody in here need God to rain in your children? I dare you give him praise and thank him for the rain. 
thank you for the rain, Lord. I needed this shower. I said, I needed this shower. You got to be ready, beloved. You got to stand under the heavenly cloud and say, Lord, here I am. I'm standing for my children. I'm standing for my community. I'm standing for the church. Lord, send the rain. Send the rain, Lord. Wet me down. Shower me, Lord. Send the rain, Jesus. Send the rain. I need this season to pass. I said I've been in a season of my body racking. The emotions everywhere. Children of upset. Children not needed and obtaining where they need to be. But Lord, if you rain. I said, Lord, if you rain. Can you imagine if God would rain in this house? I said, can you imagine if God would rain? Rain, Jesus. I say, rain. All he's looking for is a people that would agree. And if a people that would agree that he is Lord, that he is Savior, that he is God, that he is Almighty, I believe he'll rain in here. I said, I believe we can have a Pentecost. I said, not just after Easter, but I'm talking about Pentecost today. Anybody need a Pentecost? Somebody shout rain, Lord. Rain in my neighbor. High five two or three people and shout rain. Come on and tell them. Find somebody. Say rain in their life, Jesus. Rain in their life, Jesus. Rain in their life, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Rain in their life, Jesus. Rain in their life. I said it even. I said it even while they're raining. Remember we talked about the gates. Yes, Lord. And while they're raining, open the gates for them. Open the gates for them. Open the iron gates for them. Let their children come in. Let the niece come in. I say open the iron gate. Tell two more people and begin to open the gates, Philip. Come on, open the gates for somebody. I say open the iron gates. I say open the iron gates. Somebody needs to be set free. Somebody's been in prison. Your finances has been in prison. Your job, your promotion have been in prison. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. See, you got to stop being you. I say your deliverance is, is a new version. You've been trying to be you too long. Your deliverance is in the new you. You got to know when God shout on you, when God shower his blessing on you, you got to walk in the newness. You got to allow the new you to come out. I said the blessing is in the new you. I said the healing is in the new you. I said the prosperity is in the new you. You got to change. Look at your neighbor and tell them to change. You got to change. I said everything you was looking for. The prayer, the answer is in the new you. I said the deliverance, the anointing, the gift is in the new you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's in the new year. I said it's in the new year. So why are you trying to be like the old person when you've been delivered? Anybody been delivered from that old person? How you used to be? You remind, you remember how you used to be. But anybody thank God or how you are today? I said, does anybody thank God that he brought you out of darkness? into his marvelous life. Would anybody give God some praise? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I don't know about you, beloved, but I'm so thankful to God. You know, I listen text. I was going to take you to Psalms 139 where the Lord said that I fearfully made you, that I made you a certain way. But we're not going to spend a lot of time reading but we, I want to tell you, 
in Psalms 139, the Lord talked about us, he making us and being fearfully made. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. yes, Lord. And you know what the lesson that we're going to talk about? You must be who God created you to be. I say you must be. I say you must be who God created you to be. Why? Because God like you. I say, God, like you, you can't be like how mama wants you to be. You can't be like how the children want you to be. You can't be like how the church wants you to be. You got to be how God wants you to be. Yes, Lord. I don't care how unique you are. Yes, Lord. And I know you have uniqueness. And, and the Lord was taking me to Moses. And Moses, you know how Moses was. Moses stuttered. He had a stumbling. And he said God wanted him to bring the people out of Egypt. Out of Egypt. But Lord God, Moses said, I can't, Lord. I got a stammer. I can't do this in my own self. God said, yes, you can. You can do it. And Moses started talking about his inadequacy, his value. He doesn't have what it takes. But I wish you find something and tell them you have what it takes. You have what it takes, beloved. I say you, you have what it takes. God wants this version of you. I say God wants this version of you. You know how tired it is trying to be something that you're not. And you're wondering why so many People become tired in this walk mm -hmm. with God. They stop walking with God and start walking more with people. Oh, yeah. And then life begin to be so tiresome. Mm -hmm. People can drain you. Yeah. They can take the life out of you. Yeah. But when you walk with the Lord, beloved, yeah. yes, Lord, he wants you like how he created you. I say you're fearfully and wonderfully made. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read it. Turn to uh, Psalms 139, 13 through 16. For thou hast possessed my race. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. Somebody shout, he knew me. I knew yes, me. Lord Jabari, he knew you. He knew me. In your mother's womb. Yeah. He said the 14th verse, I will what? I will praise thee. Yes, Lord, for I am what? I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that thy soul knoweth right well. Yes, Lord, beloved, you're marvelous. Somebody tell somebody you're marvelous. Yes, Lord, you got to remind yourself. You got to tell yourself. Yes, yeah, so stop trying to change and be like all these people you see. And be the person that God created you to be. Yes, or be the best. And we hear this all the time. That it's nothing like being the best version of you. I said there's nothing like being the best version of you. But don't you know, preacher, how many people have forgotten who they are? Don't you know how many people have forgotten who they are and they've lost their identity? Why? Because they tried to be like this friend. They tried to be like that friend. Then they tried to be like this preacher. Then they tried to be like this prophetess. And then they forget who God created them to be. Somebody help me say, I'm not petty. It's just me. I need to be me. Is it all right? If I can be me. I might not cross all the T's. I might not dot all the I's. I might mispronounce things, but God has been faithful. Yes. Hey, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Yes, Lord. God. Yes, Lord. And you know what the barrier, the one barrier that hurts us from becoming who the Lord wants us to be? The one barrier, Captain is our past. The one barrier that, that hinders us from being who God really wants us to be is our past. 
Many of us struggle with letting our past go. And we begin to live in that past. But somebody, any free folks out there today that you walk through the iron gates? Yes, Lord. You walk through the iron gates. And since you walk through the iron gates, you came into as a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are made new. Anybody thank God? Yes, Lord, that he made it all things new in your life. The way you think, your attitude, your decisions, the way that you love, the way that you forgive. Anybody thank God that he made all things new. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Look at Exodus 3. Thank you, Jesus. Goodness, what y'all did. I said I was relaxing today. Goodness, y'all been praying? Yes. Yes, Lord. Exodus 3. 10 through 12 in the NIV. New International Version. Yes, Lord. And we've been talking through that series of momentum. Yes, Lord. Have you been praying for momentum in your life? Amen. Yes, Lord. Stick with momentum. There's nothing like when momentum happens in your life. Mother Bevel says nothing like when momentum, I see you, when momentum happens in your life. Yes, Lord. Nothing like when you get a spark. Sometimes all you need is a little push. I say, something anybody ever just needed a push? Yeah. Yes, or you ever jump started a car where there is a, that stick where you just have to push it and it's only a matter of time until it catches it? You pop that clutch and before you know it, you're running. Anybody thank God that your clutch is about to pop because you've been pushed? Don't you feel the spirit of God pushing you? I say, can't you feel the anointing of God pushing you when you pray in the morning, when you have Bible study, when you in fellowship at night? Can't you feel the anointing of God? Yes, Lord. Somebody shout, push me, Lord. Yes, Lord, push me, Lord. Push me, Lord. Some of us have been sitting there too long, and we need a heavenly push. We need the assistance from God, ministering spirit. We need heaven to push us. There are some churches need God to push them. I say there are some people that need God to push them. Anybody need God to push them? Yes, Lord, somebody shout, push me, Lord. Push me, Lord. And if he push you, preacher, you're going to go into your destiny. Yes, Lord, if God pushes you, I say you're going to go and be in the place where, you want, where he wants you to be. Yes, Lord. Exodus 3, 10 through 12 in the NIV. So now go. I am sending you to Pharaoh. To bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, here we are, beloved. Moses said to God, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? And don't you know how many times we've asked ourselves, All right. who am I? Yes. yes, Lord, you never thought that God would use you. You never thought that God, because you didn't have the education. Because you don't talk like everybody else talk. Because you don't pray like everybody else, everybody else pray. Because you're not studying and, 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 and isolating yourself all the time like everybody else. But God has favored you. Don't you know there are some people that walk so close to God that they don't have to do a lot of stuff that other people do because they walk so close to him? Yes, Lord. Moses said, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? Yes, Lord. And God said, I will what? I will what? Yes, Lord. God said, I will be with you. And this will be the sign to you that I am who have sent you. Yes, Lord. It's when God send you, beloved, he'll give you a sign. He's not just going to send you and, and make you provide for yourself, but he's going to be with you. Amen. He said, when you, when you have brought the people 
out of Egypt, you will worship God in this place. I say God is about to use you, beloved. I say somebody in this house, God is about to use you. I say pay attention to your, your development. Pay attention to your development. Listen to me. Pay attention to your development. God is about to use you. I said, God is about to use you in a, in a way that you had never seen yourself being used. I'm talking about in an impactful way. You started off taking the trash and now you got to be making decisions. God is about to use you. Anybody ready for God to use them? Yes, Lord. You got to embrace your uniqueness. Stop trying to be ashamed of who you are and just start embracing your uniqueness. Stop trying to make excuses for your uniqueness. Stop trying to make your uniqueness as limits on your life. Don't put the limits on your life because you're unique. Embrace your uniqueness and give God praise. God told Moses, I don't care about your stammering. I hear your complaint, but I'm still going to use you. Anybody want to stand in a place where God can still use them? Yes, Lord. You got to pay attention, beloved, to yourself. Pay attention to your development. Because we got to pray more for ourselves. And I'm not saying to be selfish and not pray for others. But I'm telling you, beloved, we have to pray for ourselves. If you don't, it's in praying for yourself when you begin to see other things about you. It's in praying for yourself where God begins to show you other things that need to be worked on in your life. But we got to learn to pray for ourselves. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God has a, a specific purpose just for you, beloved. I say God has a specific purpose just for you. I say that's why he made you unique. Anithia, that's why God made you unique. That's why he made you unique. Embrace the uniqueness. Could you imagine if, if, if Moses just refused? How many people would have been impacted in captivity if he would have said, no, Lord, I refuse. I'm not going to give you the yes. I can't give you the yes because I'm standing in my humanity. humanity. But how many know God doesn't want you to face him in your humanity? He wants you to face him as a child of God and see him as our Father, as that relationship. I don't know how your relationship is with God, but I challenge you to look at your relationship. If you don't have one, you need to get one. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on and look at Galatians 1 and 10 for our closing. Yes, Lord. Galatians 1 and 10. Because we have to overcome comparison. There's a people that compare everything. They compare everything. He said, obviously. Let me look at it in the New Living Translation. But we have to overcome comparison. We do, beloved. That there's danger of trying to please others. It's dangerous trying to please others. Now look at this. Galatians 1 and 10 in the New and Living Translation. Obviously, I'm not what? I'm not trying to what? Win the what? Approval of what? Of people, but of who? Of God. Listen to this. If pleasing what? People were my goal, I would not what? You got to decide who you're going to please. You can't be people pleasers. I say you can't as much as you want to be accepted in everybody, but you can't be people pleasers. I say we can't be people pleasers. We'll lose our fellowship. I say we'll lose our relationship. We'll lose our commitment. We'll lose our dedication. We'll lose our prayer life because people are beginning to be more important than God. Yeah, so I say people and their feelings would be more important than God. Yes. Amen. 
Yes, Lord. Come on, somebody up there say, I'm not a people pleaser. I'm not a people pleaser. I'm not a people pleaser. It's dangerous, beloved. Yes, Lord. Transform my mind, Lord. I say, transform my mind, Lord. Yes, Lord. We become so emotional. Our self-esteem get all messed up. Our mental health get all messed up. That's why society all messed up now. All the mental health issues. Why? Because the, the world has made it easy for us to try to be like somebody else. We could put on filters for everything and be afraid to look at ourselves. Yeah, so there's so many things. That there's surgeries and all these things people are doing just so they don't have to look at themselves. Yeah. Yes, Lord. And why don't they want to look at themselves? Yeah, it's because they don't feel like they're pleasing somebody that they know. Right. Mm -hmm. It's no time to be people pleasers. Amen. No time. I love you. And I want to, Amen. I want to us to get along, but I, I'm content that I can't please you in everything I do. Yeah. Oh, every word that I say is going to make you happy. I say every decision I make isn't going to make you happy. But my ultimate desire is to please God. Anybody just content with pleasing God? And I hope and pray as I please God, we can get along together. I say as when I'm pleasing God, walking with God, we can still unite together. We can love together. We can forgive together. But you're going to have to come into Christ to fellowship with me. I can't come out out of there. I say, I can't come out of Christ to fellowship with you. You got to come in here so we can break bread. Come on and stand on your feet and give God some praise. Glory, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Tired of competing with people. Amen. Lord, deliver. Deliver us from competing and being people pleasers. That our fellowship would be real. So I can walk in the crowd and be myself. Where I don't have to change with this group and then change with that group. Then change to be like that group. And then forget who I am. And then lose my identity. Then I become angry with everybody. Then I become bitter with everybody. Then I begin to blame everybody. But it all started with me because I wanted to please the ones on the job. I wanted to please that portion of the family. I wanted to please that portion of the church. That part of the relationship. And in that I lost myself. There are so many people that have lost themselves in trying to please all these society groups, all these social groups, That's right. trying to, be, to get along, Amen. trying to be accepted. Yes. You wear this for that group. You talk like this for that group. Huh. Come on now. Can't please everybody. That's right. Have to please the Lord. Please God. Hallelujah. Have to be like Moses. Moses, it, Lord, I'm. God said, I'll be with you if you stay who you are. If you can stay who you are, the Lord said, I'll be with you. But you have to stay who you are. He said, I love who you are. I created you. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. I created you the way that you are. The way that you smile. The way that you laugh, the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I created you. I told you how to put sentences together. So be who I created you to be. Yes, Lord. Thank you. He want to love who he created. Thank you, Jesus. Not what you created. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. So many lost identities. So many lost identities. That's why people's minds are wondering. That's why their minds are wondering. So many lost identities. 
It's time for us to pray like never before. It's time for us to pray like never before. We have to pray for the church identity. Yes. For all the believers identity. Yes. For our identity. Amen. You got to pray for yourself, beloved. Yes. That you don't lose your identity. Yes. I love mama, but I can't be like mama. That's right. I love daddy, but I can't be like daddy. Yes. I look up to cousin and nephew, but I can't be like them. I have to be me. I have to be content in my own self. Let me be me. Let me, I can grow if I'm me. I can't grow something that's retarded, something that's not right. I can't grow that, but if it's me, I could grow. Yes. I have to be the best version of me. Yeah. God is satisfied with me. Stay who you are, beloved. Yes. And let God mature you in you. Yes. He can't connect with you being someone else. That's right. Or like other people. That's right. Be you. Father in Jesus, then we thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your people. Lord, as we uncovered and, Lord, did some self-discovery in our lives, that we need work to go back to be who you want us to be. We put up, Lord, fronts, we've tried to act like we were headed together. We tried to act like we wasn't hurt. And we became this whole new person. But Father, today, take us back into how you created us. In your likeness and in your image. Where you can be pleased in me. I just want to be free in me, Lord. That you would be glorified in me. Yes, Father, my brother, my sister that's listening. That had not made you a savior. Lord. Had not repented of the sins. Father, we pray that you would commune with them. That you would bless them. That you would, Lord, spend some special time with them. And may they say yes to you. In Jesus' name. Fill them with your spirit. Yes, Lord. Breathe freshness in their lives. Breathe freshness in their lives, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Beloved.